welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video was actually recorded back in March, but I just now was able to edit it because, you know, life gets busy. You know how that goes. Anyway, this is one of my favorite videos because it's a sit-down interview with my good friend Ella, also known as Ajing or Crepes Ella Mode. This video is lighthearted, funny, and we get to learn how to make crepes. Yes, she's going to actually show us how to make crepes step by step. Well, so much for the recording. My son is now awake and I can't record in peace inside the house. So I'm out here on my deck. But what I wanted to tell you guys is to make sure you tune in all the way to the end of the show for a fun surprise. So without further ado, let's watch the video. I am now heading to my friend's house who is going to be my guest for today's show. She's about an hour, a little over an hour away from me. So I have, let's see, 45 minutes to get there. But first, I have to pick up my daughter's homework and it is in another city. So I will probably get to my friend's house by 11.30, hopefully. So I'll see you later. Just arrived at my friend's place. The destination is on your right, Hillcourt. Arrived. We need our ingredients, so we're gonna go shopping. Check out this neat shopping list that my friend made. This is my friend Ajing. We are on our way to Costco. We're going yes. to buy these. She made this list. This is all the ingredients that we need. So let's go. I will take you guys shopping with us. Bye. We just finished eating and we are heading to Costco to get our ingredients for the crepes. It's like Costco is busy today. Let's go get our cart. Ready. There goes our list. We're ready. Oh, we need the ID. Oh, I have one. I'm going to get 20 crepes. So I multiplied everything to five because one crepe right. recipe makes four yeah, pieces. Right. All right. All right. Okay, let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> he said, uh-oh. <laughs> Feel American made, here we go. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay, there. Okay. All right. Okay? All right, thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Film American May channel. In today's video, I will be introducing you to my friend who will teach us how to make crepes. That's right. If you remember from my previous video, she was the one that made us some yummy crepes in Palmdale. So today, I brought her to my vlog so she can show us how to make it. So without further ado, let's welcome my friend Ajing. Hi everyone, Hanny subscribers. Thank you for welcoming me and her blog. She requested me to teach you how to make crepes or share with you how I make my crepes. That has become very, very famous with all my friends. They would always ask me to do it for their birthdays, for like if we have parties, if I get together. So I'm very, very happy to be able to share this with you. And and this is not like a restaurant kind of crepes thing. It's the way I make it is more like a mommy who doesn't have a lot of time and rushing, trying to, you know, do everything that you're doing with everything else. And then you just want to make some crepes. So this is how it is. This is how I do it. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you like my crepes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get to it at the house. And we are about to, actually, my friend is about to make the crepes. So let's get started. So this is what you need for when you make your crepes. First, you need a crepe pan. So it's different from a frying pan or see this, the frying pans are deeper and the crepe pans are really flat. So you will make it really, really thin crepes. And I have a whisk if I wanna mix my batter and I have this big 
you know, like flat. a pancake, flat pancake. Spatula. You need a cooking spray so the the crepes will not stick on the pan. And then now I have this, this is the easiest way to do is have a blender so that it will blend the batter more smoothly and like without any lumps. And we need some of the, uh, we need this too. It's a sifter and some measuring cups and measuring spoons, of course. And we need about uh, four eggs for one recipe and one cup for one recipe, one cup, and then one cup of milk. Mm -hmm. And then we need some butter, only like three teaspoons of butter, which I will be melting in a bit. And then this is, we need a Nutella, of course, and which I'll show you later how to do it. And then some blueberries, strawberries. You can have uh, raspberries too, and some bananas, and some almonds if you have any, anything, anything. You can put anything in it. So, are you ready? Okay. Let's get to it. First of all, you need to wash your hands always i know you know that already but always make sure your hands are clean okay so first of all um you need a blender like i said i used to like do it with my hand but there would always be lumps in the crepes but I, like i said this is not like a restaurant kind of crepe this is more like a, a homemade mommy kind of crepes so um first of all you have to put all the liquid ingredients so here i have melted the butter three tablespoons of butter. So we have that. And then we need two cups of milk. Oh my gosh, and you were so blind. You need my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two cups of milk. And we're using almond milk. I actually ditched the sugar from the ingredients. If you ask the ingredients from Henny, there, there, there will be sugar, but usually I don't anymore because there's enough sugar in the milk for me. Uh, four eggs. And this is just for one recipe that you can make four crepes, four to six crepes, depending how big they are or how thin or thick they are. So that's one, four eggs. We have many eggs right now because we're making a lot of crepes. Right. But for this one, this is just for one batch of crepes. And then after that, a teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. That's going to make it tasty. Okay, then now comes the non-liquid ingredient. So for the flour, you need one and a half cup of flour. So you just take one cup of flour and a half, and then you put it in the sifter, and then you sift it. So it's one and a half cups of flour for the whole recipe. It's like snow. <laughs> Okay, there you go. That's good. Okay, so now we blend. I actually am going to mix it first with a whisk to blend it well together. Okay, to make sure that the flour is not lumpy. Ah, there you go. I can feel the consistency. It's more like pancakey, but thinner. Now we're going to blend to make the batter. And usually, after I make the batter, I try to clean up a little. So I clean as I go, so that everything is not cluttered on the counter. So, I don't know how you do it, but this is how I do it. I clean up. So it looks clean later on. I don't have to clean as much. You have to heat up your pan. I usually put it on medium high or medium. You know, this pan doesn't need too much heat. And then before you put the batter, you have to cover the whole pan with this oil spray. See, it's not very liquidy, but it's creamy. It looks creamy, that's how it should be, mm -hmm. okay? And then you would get a scoop, this kind of scoop, that'll this small one. And then you put the batter in the middle and you move it around. So you just have to wait and let it uh, cook. You'll see that there it will have some bubbles later on. And how long? For how long? It's just a few minutes. Okay. No, you just have to watch it so it will just cook. It's looking good already. Mm -hmm. You can see it's a little bubbly now and it's almost ready. I'm going to try a trick. I hope this works. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
<laughs> Yay! <laughs> Work! Topping, not for inside the crepe. I need to melt some Nutella. And why do you have to melt it? You'll see later on. Okay. I will have to melt this just a little, and then later I'll show you why it needs to be melted. Okay? All right. The are done. You, you can put the Nutella over it like this. I spread it all over the crepe. All over. However much Nutella you want, but not too much, okay? Too much sugar. <laughs> okay, and then you can start putting your fruits. So I have here blueberries, strawberries, and bananas. I'm going to cut the banana. I don't want to cut the bananas earlier because it's, you know, it, it turns brown. Dark, yes. So I will put the banana. Some banana. Usually I use the whole banana and from here and then cut, cut, cut and just put the whole banana right there inside. You can put the whole banana inside if you want. Or you can put half of it and then use the other half for the for the top. And Jing, you can also put uh, almonds. In yes, if you, if you have almonds. We yes. don't have almonds right now, but you can put some almonds, walnuts, whatever whatever you want. Some people are allergic to it. Mm -hmm. So we're very, very careful, you know, mm -hmm. in putting those here, but you definitely can. And so you, it's almost like a burrito. So you wrap it around like that like a burrito this is where i'm gonna put some of the melted nutella so i will show you that in a issue clean it up okay if you want to present it really nice to your guests and then we put whipped cream, whipped cream. like however much you want mm. and then you decorate it with your blueberries And some people want it with ice cream. So if you want it with ice cream, you can do that also. Yeah. And then you put little blueberries. You put the, you put the strawberries in there. Okay, you can add the rest of the bananas like all over. And just around it. Then you're wondering what I'm gonna do with the Nutella. So, okay, and the rest you can just eat it, right? <laughs> okay, this is what we do with a melted Nutella. Oh. You put it all over. It's looking amazing. There you go. Wow. Grapes. This. Grapes a la mode, but there's no ice cream. So if you want a la mode, you put ice cream on it, on it and then put your whipped cream. But this is healthier, no ice cream. Okay, we're going to celebrate our crepes. Thank you, Ham. Thank you so much. These look amazing. I can't wait. We're drinking Moscato, our yes. favorite drink. So good. Perfect for sweet. Cheers. <laughs> so, favorite? Yes. Quick one. Okay, go ahead. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this time that we are together. And thank you for this vlog. And thank you for Henny for just thinking of this very creative ideas, Father God. And for allowing me to share how to make crepes the mama's way. Not the restaurant way, but the mama who is doing a lot of stuff in her life. So, thank you again for this food and for the bounty of your blessings. And thank you, may you prosper this blog, Father God, and help many, many people who are watching and subscribing to her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So let's eat. How do you actually say crepes in French? Crepes. Crepe. Crepe. Um, crepe. Right? Is it crepe? <laughs> <laughs> it Margot sounds crepe. like crepe. Yeah. Something Without else. the S. Yes. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Well, let me tell you why I asked Ajing to show us how to make crepes. Way back, probably, what, a year ago, Ajing, you made us some crepes for our birthdays. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to make some at home. So I bought this professional crepe maker. It even came <laughs> with the, I was so excited because I'm going to make yeah, crepes for my family. Me, hey, I bought this crepe maker. Yes. So 
I bought all the ingredients and I told my family, okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna have grapes for lunch. <laughs> so I made some and I won't tell you the rest of the story, but it was epic fail. It was a disaster. I tried to give it to my dog. She won't <laughs> even eat it. So I said, no more crepes. I told my family, okay, never mind. Let's not do crepes. We'll just go to a Jinx house and she'll make the best crepes for us. <laughs> Can you believe it? My dog wouldn't even eat it. <laughs> it was that bad. So now I'm going to ask a Jinx a question. Wait, let me let me eat my crepes first, you guys. <laughs> She needs to dust it first. Mm. So good. Mm. It's really good. Hold I'm up. even happy about it. It is really good. It's always good. Every time you make it, it's so good. Seriously. Okay, so what's your question, Miss Henny? I know your mouth is full. Hmm. <laughs> huh. I want to know what made you decide to make your own crepes instead of just going to a restaurant. Okay, so when I was still single, I was in the Philippines, I actually love crepes. I love the mango crepes. I mm. make it crepe, crepe actually. We call it crepe back in the Philippines, uh, mango crepe. Uh, so, and then so when we came here, when I, you know, of course I had children and my children started liking it. There's a restaurant that our friend started. Okay, so. <laughs> so where were we before? Sorry, we got cut off. I think this is better. Look, I think so, we should see. have done this. You can see, let's, let's start all, over, all okay. over. Okay, what was your question again, honey? So I, I have a question. By the way, amazing, amazing, amazing. So I have a I'm question. I'm even amazed. I love my crepe. <laughs> it's always amazing. Mm. Um, my question is, what made you decide that you're going to make your own crepes instead of going to a restaurant and just order? Okay, so my daughter had her 16th birthday and we did it in a crepe place here in Stockton on Miracle Mile. That's really good, but from then on, they started wanting to go back there and the crepes then was like, 10 12 dollars now it's about 15 dollars so mm -hmm. and like every time we go i'm like i i can't spend like this i need to be able to make this i think i can make this great so then i tried and i would always do that you know for my kids like when they like something in jamba juice and then i'm like i can make this and i will always make it so this time it was like okay crepes i'm gonna make this great so i started making it and they, they loved it. And then they would keep telling their friends. We would take pictures, put it on Instagram and Facebook. And they would just say like, wow, this is so great. And anybody who tastes it. And then it became like a tradition. Like when people come visit and or we have guests, I would make crepes, both savory and um, sweet crepes. And then it became like a birthday thing. Like when people, I want to take people out. Mm -hmm. Like, do you want me to take, where do you want me to take you? And they would say, can you just make me your crepes? And then, so, you know, we would do it like a birthday thing. I would make birthday crepes, like crepes, one crepe after the other and make it like a, a birthday thing. So it just became like, when they come to the house, to my house, um, it became like, okay, we're gonna eat crepes at that house, you know? So it became mm -hmm. like a crepe house. But if you decide to put up a restaurant someday, <laughs> crepery, <laughs> Elmo. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> Well, if you do, I'll be there. It's that good. <laughs> it's and made out of love made, more than exactly. anything. Exactly. That's, not that's really what it is. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is because she makes it with love. Right. So she not only makes sweet crepes, she also makes savory crepes. Those are bomb. My husband loves them as well. So both sweet and savory crepes that she makes are delicious. So thank you, Ajing. Thank you for thank this you. opportunity. Thank you for having me over. I hope some of you will be able to try. Oh, you have me over. <laughs> <laughs> over in her blog. <laughs> yeah. So I'm her guest and she's also my guest. I'm the guest in the blog and then she's guest. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. And we hope you enjoy your crepes. We hope you try it. And then if you need the recipe, it's very, very simple. You just get it from Henny. Uh, like I said, I would remove the sugar more. More. I mean, I don't even put sugar in it. Yeah, it's 
it's actually it, it's good without sugar anyway you you don't need it because it already has the nutella and the the fruits and even for the savory it's good because the flavor of the savory like chicken or fish or meat, whatever the meat is it goes into it with a crepe so it's mm -hmm. really good mm -hmm. okay are we gonna finish eating now yes and we were supposed to eat it lake, outside so but it, sorry. <laughs> it's dark now it's cold and we, you can't see the water now so we decided to eat it inside yes so let honey know if it works for you if the crepe if you try it and then it works for you then we'll be very happy about that comment below and don't forget <laughs> we can't talk <laughs> sorry I love my crepes. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be updated on my next videos. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Can I say good night? <laughs> good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Wait, let's do it again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video and subscribe. Oh no, that wasn't good. It didn't <laughs> flow. Energy, energy. Oh. Oh, food coma. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be notified when my next video is up. <laughs> so don't forget to click the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to click the notification <laughs> bell so you won't miss a thing. Smash that like button. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye. I'm your host, Henny Penny. Good night. Good night. <laughs> You remember in my previous video she was the one that made us yummy yummy <laughs> she was the one that made us yummy cakes when we took a trip Crimes. to Pam huh? thank you for welcoming me at her, in her blog and vlog not blog <laughs> so this is done and Ajing's going to flip it let's see Didn't didn't. Work. Okay, let's try again. Let's try it again. Okay, right. one more time. Flipping. Wait. <laughs> Don't give up. Hey, look this at this. Blooper. Look at this. <laughs> look at what you see what using? I'm using? <laughs> Potatoes. Try I've tried they everything. <laughs> two potatoes. <laughs> Just to record this, we're using potatoes. Yes. <laughs> see, I'm I'm a newbie. And I need we, real and equipment. Ended, and we ended like in the middle of the interview, so yeah. And it died on us. <laughs> Someday we're gonna get rich, and then we're gonna buy our own tripod. The real tripod. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> Someday. Okay. Looks good, honey. Okay. Ready? Okay.